well, flight simulators today are, are amazingly realistic from a, a flight physics perspective. So most of them fly very much like a real aircraft would fly. The, the big difference is once you push those throttles up, uh, first off, that's a physical move that's different than, than clicking a mouse. But also you feel the pressure on your body of that acceleration. And, and oftentimes people who've only flown simulators, their first inclination when they go to take off is they pull too far back on the stick and it starts to stall the aircraft. And a lot of instructors are, are ready for that and they already got their hand on the stick to push a little forward to make sure that they don't do that. So I, I think if he managed to pull this off only having experience on a flight simulator, uh, that's amazing. And it's, it's even more amazing that he, he was able to even take the plane off without uh, really crashing it at the end of the runway. Once he's airborne, it's really not that difficult to fly an aircraft once it's in the air. He pulled off some pretty incredible maneuvers, but if he's played enough flight simulator, he probably understood some of the things he was supposed to do with controls to be able to do that. Uh, that said, I, I really don't think we're gonna have a whole lot of people saying, hey, I learned on flight simulator, so I'm gonna go out and steal a plane. Um, a lot of them will try it, but I don't think they're gonna be as lucky as this guy was.